Hi guys and welcome back to the Guitar Bay. I'm Danny. I'm Tagis. What are we drinking today, mate? Today uh, we are drinking um, some Hendrix gin from Scotland again, I think. Oh, Where? last time in Italy, this time back to back the to roots. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Oh, mild for a gin, yes. I'd say. Yes, but nice. Yeah, smooth, enjoyable. very smooth. Well done, people of Hendrix. Ah, back episode uh, three today, mate. That's right. And we've got another guitar, is it? We do. It's my turn to give you one again. Uh, this one came from eBay, usual place. It's been with me for a week now, and I'm very in love with this one. Okay. It's, this might be a reoccurring theme that I say I'm in love with every guitar that I give to you, but this one is just feels so great. What have you told me about this one? You told me the price you paid and nothing but that, I think. Uh, you said 150, was it? I paid 150 for this one, to the door. This was a perfect example of a bad advert. Stood up against the kitchen worktop, screenshot of a screenshot, and I thought I'm having that. You know, one picture, little description, and I don't think anyone was watching it. So it was pretty easy pickings. Sent in an offer, and uh, yeah, came to the door. And the usual setup. Let's get it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go straight into it. Well, I haven't made any guesses with this one. Um, so I'm going to do now. You said 150. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. We've had the PRS. We've had a court. PRS will sell tomorrow. Is it? Yes. Okay, cool. it's, on, it's almost gone. Um, nicely bid on eBay, so... Okay, well, by, by the, the time hands. you're watching this, the court should be both on eBay and Reverb, so just uh, go grab it. Um, I've been reading more about court guitars. People like them. Mm -hmm. you know, people do reviews yeah. of other gear using court guitars. Um, so, back to this one now. Again, in my lovely uh, acoustic case. Uh, one of those ESP, one of those uh, the Chinese ones, so the LTD. Uh, I think, yeah, you could pick something up for that sort of price range, an older one, those old Vipers and stuff. Yeah. Um, but no, you're not, you're not quite there, mate. This one is a traditional guitar, I would say. Are you going to be feeling less poor or something? Well, let's see. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha, it's an SG, people! Oh, well done, Danny. Sorry about that. Okay, and it's a uh, vintage. Um, yes, I think this is the kind of brand we should be featuring on the show quite often because they yes. do that. They make affordable quality uh, instruments, and it's a uh, oh, it's, it's really an SG. great. I yeah, mean, uh, there's not much you can say. Um, it's uh, one of those sixty-one reissue SGs with a small pickguard, not the big mm. bass. What they call it, the other pickguard. Um, uh, typical red, dark red color resembles a vintage SG. And, and, and these things are contenders for your Epiphones, your higher spec Epiphones. In my opinion, from playing this so far, I've had so much fun with it. And it, I don't mean to be cringy or, you know, but it is a vintage guitar. It feels like a vintage guitar. It's got Wilkinson pickups. Um, yeah, this, this company's from the UK. Um, and they obviously they're built overseas. I think this this one's built in I think Korea. And keys to resemble the vintage SG. Yeah, uh, keys. So it's made to resemble a vintage guitar. That's right. Totally. And the vintage, the, no, the Wilkinson sort of hardware and pickups are very well respected stuff. Okay. Um, pickups are vintage voiced. True. Typical. And I have had the bridge and stuff off, so I've done the usual treatment. I've had the strings off. Ernie balls on. Nice bit of lemon oil, bit of graphite in the nut. And it's a really, I've got the action a bit low. You'll see a that. A bit? <laughs> Danny, there's something you need to learn, my friend. I know you like low action, but this is not Guthrie Govan's Super Strat. This is, a, this is an SG. You know, give it some air, uh, but let's test it, of course. I know Danny likes low action and you know, I don't blame him. He can play quite well with low action. Um, I like what I'm seeing. This is nice. This is the kind of thing that uh, this mm, show should yeah. be featuring. And for 150, you know, with all the Wilkinson accessories, um, tuners, just great. 
really not much to say other than it's a vintage spec guitar low sort of output pickups it's got bite it's got spank it's not too bassy and it's and not neck diving and it's, it's no not headstock heavy no. the first thing you should check with an sg people is whether it's headstock heavy even the most expensive gibsons i think we mentioned this in the uh in the first episode in the prs episode yeah the sgs have a problem um they're not balanced often. enough that's right the, yeah. the headstock's too heavy you have yeah. to hold the guitar mm. while you're playing okay i think it's time to let's plug it in plug yeah okay laney's on pedal board is on that's all you need i think thank you thank you i'm gonna lay the thing that's great just turning up the volumes grabbing a pick and this time i've got um uh just some reverb from the uh new x atlantic um delay reverb so no um no delay just a bit of reverb clean sound Very nice, right? Not too spiky. Kind of sort of Telecaster territory. Uh, but with more. But with more uh, beef, more yeah. Base, which is what you want, basically, from a, from a humbucker. And I, I think it's, uh, it's what he said about the vintage element here. That's not too Les Paul, uh, woofy, nah. and um, it's got spang, it's got bite. Which is what you want from an SG, I would say. Oh, totally. Action. Uh, that was middle position, now we're bridge. First impressions. Um, the action's too low. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, it's got this. It's what you said. It's got this vintage uh, feel to it, um, and it's got what you would expect from a from an SG neck. Uh, very comfy, um, especially for smaller hand people. And mm -hmm. I think I belong in this category. I'm not the huge long not fingers. The uh, Steve Vai. No, no, more like the Angus Young or Tony Iommi. You know, people who play SGs. Um, kind of uh, player and rhythm. Okay, let's let's put some hair on it, just to hear the bites. <laughs> I 
use now. I want to see how it cleans. Okay, that's a that's a very pleasantly trebly um, humbucker bridge. Oh yeah, you know yeah. it's this the sweet spot, mm. that, like a PAF sound, like a bitey humbucker, which is the perfect blend between a single coil, almost like a like a P90. Yeah, it's, like it's the, very P90 the, sort of style. The perfect blend between a single coil and a humbucker. So I dig, mm. and the neck is super easy. Uh, it's just um, SG. It's it's made to resemble an SG. Um, what I find with this this guitar is that it's like you find one sound and you stick to it. You find where it sits nice and you can get from cleans all the way through to your gain tones, you know. Just with a, a little play with the volume pot and I think that's something I used to like before was having 10, 100 sounds but now rather just have one guitar that does sort of a bit of everything. It can do good cleans, good crunch but also when you turn it right up you get that bitiness and you want to cut through. And that's what I find this guitar does. Have you checked any specs like um, body? Radius. Mahogany, yeah, yeah, and just body the, and neck, yeah, rosewood fretboard, and just the standard. What you would expect from, I think these retail for about three hundred ish. You can definitely buy them new for about three hundred to three fifty. I, I think. wouldn't expect a vintage guitar, a vintage brand guitar, to be more than four hundred. That's well, they go yeah. around four hundred. But they're very well respected, yeah. and you know, who knows in the future that we might be able to compare these sort of guitars to your. I mean, on the second-hand market, you can get them for a great price. Okay, there's a tiny dent here on the third fret. Yeah. Uh, it's cosmetic. It doesn't, it wouldn't disturb your playing. You'll see that in a close-up. Uh, the nut's in excellent condition. Um, what else can we say? It's about a really this nice piece of wood. I really think the, the paint job just shows like it's a really nice, it's not too heavy either. No. It's on the light side, and that's how an SG should be. You know, it's not that you break your back, Les Paul. 
correct me if I'm wrong, SGs have 12 inch radiuses. It feels like an SG, um, flattish. I think so, yeah. Uh, radius, which is kind of, yeah, for a, for a vintage guitar, it's the, the, the flatter end of the spectrum. Mm. That's more like a, that's not a baseball bat uh, Telecaster, like a 7.5, that's a 9.25. Or sorry, it's a 7.25 is the baseball okay, bat. Okay, yeah. That's a 9.5. Want to give it the Katana treatment? Yeah, sure, definitely. You want to have a swap? So I'm just going through the Katana usual story. This time I'm not going to do any clean channel or anything. I'm just going to, I've got a preset for a crunch. It's your signature set and forget sound, is it? Yes, it's quiet. <laughs> Sustains for days. Thank you. 
little carried away there. Wow, that was very Moorsy. Yeah. Gary Moorsy. Gazza Moorsy. Gazza Moorskies. Got the right pickups for that. Yeah, this. Vintage, vintage yeah. Uh, humbuckers, Les Paul. I, mean, I, I would guess a, a good vintage Les Paul would have similar sounding humbuckers. Uh, this not so. Uh, you know, the 60s Les Pauls. Not so woofy, yeah. not so. That's a very nice. Um, yeah. Middle ground between the, the single coil and the humbucker. I like that. I would love to hear it through a full valve amp and really just a nice pushed valve amp, you know. I really like that sounded great through the katana right now. I mean, I'm very impressed with how it sounds and it still just sounds like a vintage instrument. And But yeah, apart from the dent on the fretboard that I saw and that you guys will see in the close ups and that you, of course, will have in the, in the ad. Anything we don't mention about the guitars or the whatever it is that we're um, reviewing will be in the ad. Yeah. So um, specs, we haven't said much about the specs of this one, but they're easy to find. I think it's the only, correct me if I'm wrong, you or anyone, I think it's the only um, SG, vint vintage brand SG model you'll find out there. I think it goes about what you it's said, probably, 50 to yeah. 60 euro right now. So you can find the specs easily because this is still in production, I believe. Um, and they find them different colors, surely, but in my opinion, when you buy an SG, buy a tr traditional one, man. I think so. Buy one with P90s or humbuckers. Don't don't go into the cust. It's just my opinion. They look best in my just this, yeah. you know, Angus Young ready to go. Yeah. Unless and you're Tony Iommi and you've got the black one. I think yeah. you, can, you can we can forgive that. I think. Yeah. But generally speaking, I think Dan is right. Uh, red is the way to go. Which we have chosen for today's episode with our T-shirts as well. I've got this red T-shirt. Yes. I didn't know there was a red guitar on again. I did, but I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, what, what do you think of this one, mate? Um, I like SGs, and I like this SG, so um, I'm happy to to put it out there. Yeah, I would um, put a bold statement. I've had a Gibson SG. I had a Gibson SG special with the dot inlays. This is better. I, I set that guitar up to my standards and to my you know preference, and I set this one up. And this one, to me, sounds more like an SG. This is the best SG I've ever played. Okay, that's no saying joke. Something. No joke. I've had a Harley Benton SG as well. Also a great guitar. Um, but this is the best one. And uh, the only reason that I would sell it back to the world is because it's part of the show. And other than that, I would keep it. I don't have a humbucker guitar and this one fits perfectly to my needs. Not too wooly and it's just great. Absolute bargain. Okay. Apart from the less from the from the less pull, I was about to say. Apart from the um, from the dent on the fretboard, there's just else? a nick on the headstock. Your typical probably been stood up against somewhere. Okay. Um, but yeah, scratches and that. But it looks these look cool when they're a bit beat up as well. This one's in good nick. I had to clean the hell out of it. It was okay. dirty. It was filthy. The fretboard was filthy, and all it needed was a bit of cleaning up. Bit of love. And absolutely nothing with the pots or selector, just Or the jack easy. or anything. Just yeah. so clean and strings. Yeah. That's what you've done. Yeah. And, and the, the, the action. You, and the, you lowered the, the bridge. And enough. the tuners are really good. Nice and sturdy. I know Wilkinson um, tuners. I mean, I know yeah. Wilkinson tuners. It's the same. I, I didn't know they make pickups. Yeah. But, they um, make all parts for guitars. They have bridges. They make floating bridges. They make everything. Okay. And notoriously good quality. But yeah, that's the SG. You'll find it on eBay. It'll be going up Sunday night, so as soon as possible. And all the links will be down below. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. It was good. It was pleasant to, to play with an SG. And yeah, uh, the usual stuff. What is it? Uh, comment, subscribe, like, and the whole thing. Thank you for the support so far. Take care, guys. Oh, um, cheers. Cheers. Hope you're having a wonderful day. You've drunk much more than I have. Enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back <laughs> to the guitar bay. Well, too fast. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the guitar